Good morning. Good morning, everyone. everyone. So this video, we are going to do something different. That's right. So Athens has a lot of great cheap eats in the city. So what we're going to do, we're going to take you on a tour of a lot of classic street foods here in Athens. But the catch, we're only going to spend 10 euros all together. So let's see what we can get for just 10 euros. Excited. It's still early, bright and early. <laughs> Yes, we we're ready for breakfast, so our first stop here is going to be for one of the most popular street foods here in Athens. It's called kuluri. You may remember the kuluri from our Greek food episode in Queens. We'll link that up in the card. We'll probably do it a few times in this episode. But we're actually at the source where most of the kuluri in Athens are sourced from. It's called Tokuluri to Psiri. So this is the factory for the kuluri. We smell it from down the block. It smells amazing. It smells oh, good. we're starving. Let's go. Let's eat. Oh my god. This is the spot. So you see they have all the motorbike deliveries. They have the little uh, box in the back to deliver to all the stalls around the city. The vast majority come from here. So let's take that bite. Mm. Did not expect how crunchy that bite was. Totally, totally different from like the one that we had in New York. The spot is open 24 hours a day. They're making these all day long, making them fresh. That's why we came to the source. And the cost for this, it's only 50 euro cents for this. This is a classic Greek breakfast to go with your coffee. And that's where we're gonna head next. We're gonna get some Fredo. Espresso. We need it. Need Fredo espresso badly. It is just, what, seven o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning here in Athens. spending more than 24 hours in Athens. That's right. So Athens has a lot of significance for me. I have family here. I've been here many times over the years. I love this city. There's a certain energy to it. It's got the history, the graffiti, and importantly, some awesome food. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. All right, so this is it's my first time in Greece. Second time in Athens. Greg is going to take me to one of his favorite breakfast. That's right. <laughs> so this is very special. Uh, it's a spot called Peinir Li Ionias. So Peinir Li is, uh, if you're familiar with uh, pide, like the Turkish bread, and it's also similar to the Georgian kachapuri. Uh, so it does have roots in Asia Minor. You know, there's a lot of history. We may not go into all of it. You know, it's a very interesting, controversial, controversial difficult history, but. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Greeks in the Asia Minor oh, near Constantinople, yeah. Istanbul. Yeah. Over there, uh, so Ionia yes. is a Black Sea region. So the the Benin is a freshly baked bread with different yeah. toppings, different yeah. fillings. We're gonna see what we're gonna get here. Really yeah. good. They're only open here for a limited amount of time. By 8:30 is five. So we're here nice and early. Yes. Let's do it. So it's shaped like a pole. This one looks very similar like a pide or a kachapuri. So it's beautiful. This one has tzatziki, which is a cured beef. And there's a cheese inside as well. And on the outside, she brushed some butter on there. That's why it's glistening here in the light. And she threw it in the oven to make it extra warm. Oh, it's, it looks, it feels very sturdy, crispy. Oh, I, I can't even tell it anywhere else. Just, just bite right into this. Mm. Mm -hmm. That Suzuki comes out right away. It's got kind of a cumin-y, almost pastrami-like flavor too. And that cheese adds a little bit of funk to it. But the star of the show here is that dough. 
and they put a high attention to detail and focus on the quality of this dough. Big fan of pizza. You know, we have a lot of pizza videos. You can check them right up here too. We'll link them up there. But with pizza, you have to have a great appreciation for the dough and the flavor of the dough. So I really want to take a good bite of the dough in this Spain Italy by itself. Mmm. 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 Oh, it has a lovely sourdough flavor to it. Not overwhelming, but you can really, if you let it sit on your tongue for a little while, you can taste it, pick up that sourdough. Oh, we love sourdough bread, sourdough pizza. So just tasting this here is just, it takes it to another level. And then you blend that with the cheese and the tzatziki, the butter brush on the outside. This is just, how can you go wrong for 2.7 euros? You can. Mm. Mm. That whole structure. Mm. It's amazing. It's, just, it's perfectly crisp. And this is making these fresh all day long. That's, that's the beauty of a spot like this. They're not open, you know, 12 hours a day. They're open, you know, from 8:30 in the morning, right? 8, 8:30 in the morning until about 5, 5:30 in the afternoon. So they're focusing on the quality. It's, it's great stuff. Right? Mm, wow. But what's awesome about this place, they're making everything by hand. So you see they're patting out that dough, they're shaping it up, they're putting the toppings on. You see all the bags of flour there. It's a really high attention to detail. We love it. And this, it shows in the quality of the bay nearly. It is delicious. Um, so if you love something like pizza or anything baked with some cheese and meat or even with some veggies, they do veggie toppings too. Come to bay nearly Gionias. You will not be disappointed. So we are here at one of the most grittiest part of Athens per local and tourists. That's right, so we're here at Ammonia. Ammonia has a notorious reputation uh, in Athens, but they also are known for having two incredible places and that's gonna be our next two stops for today they serve two of the best of what they offer in the whole city maybe the whole country too so. all right so we're here outside of our next stop it's called lefteris or politis so lefteris means victor in greek and all politis means from uh constantinopolis so that's the interesting thing, there's a souvlaki spot right here. It's not the typical souvlaki you might think of, like the kalamaki on the stick style, totally different. We're gonna show you exactly what it is. Oh, it's my favorite place here. I came three times on my last best, visit to Athens. Best. It is the best, it's absolutely. The best, of course. So right. <laughs> Let's do it. Take a... Uh, Everything. Outside of Lefteris or Politis, they are known here for they call it Constantinople style meepo, style souvlaki. So, what it is, it's minced beef, it's grilled on a skewer, so it's very similar to a kofta or a dana kind of kebab. So, you see, it's a minced beef patty. So, they wrap it up. What's beautiful is that they have the minced beef on the grill and they put this fluffy pita on top of the meat to absorb the juices a little bit. And they throw inside, they have some fresh chopped tomato, they have onions, parsley, and the extra special thing they have here is this cayenne pepper, the special red cayenne pepper in here. Oh, that's, this, I was so addicted to this on my last trip. Came here three times, cannot get enough. And the beautiful thing about it, this whole pita is only 1.9 euro. You can't beat that. But now, Less talking, more eating. You gotta see why it's so special. Let's see, since it's my first time here, let's see what Greg has been telling me about. Let's cut, let's taste it. Mmm. Way too delicious. Flavorful. Well, that paprika adds that spice to it, but wow, so good. And I enjoy this. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. What I love about it, the meat is very simple. It's not overly spiced, uh, but it's very juicy. So it's just sitting on that flat top. So it's not grilled on charcoal. It's grilled over a flat top. But what adds the flavor to this is that you have some salt on here and you have that spicy cayenne pepper powder. It is amazing. It's like has a little paprika flavor too. I believe that might be some, it's out of the cayenne flavor. And you have the fresh tomato and you have that crispy onion and the pita itself. Let's talk about that pita. The pita is fluffy. It's got a little char in there from being put on the grill and the flavor of that beef. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. I think it's a flavor explosion. Man. Unbelievable value. Oh, there's a little bite of that parsley. Parsley gives it a really fresh kick too. Mm. You cannot come for me to Greece without having Greek yogurt. That's right. So our next stop, third stop. Yeah, so our next stop is called Stani. Stani is a classic here for Greek yogurt. It's actually right around the corner from Lefteris Opolitis. And it's got a little chili kick in that souvlaki we just had. So it's going to be nice to have something cooling and sweet. It's a perfect transition. I'm so excited! You know Jumi and sweets. Yes. Dessert queen. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. It's a classic dairy shop here in the center of Athens in Omonia. It dates back to 1931, but the first location was in Piraeus near the port. And now they relocated to Omonia in 1949. So we're here. It's a very classic feel. Very, I love it. It's just got an elegant feel to it. But it's, everything here is just classic. So I also came here on the last trip here, ate this about two or three times also. Just like Lefteris or Polite. This is how much I like it. So. Greek yogurt was a real craze for a while, especially in the US in the early 2010s. But they were usually using cow milk. And the big difference here, this is sheep's milk. And we have it covered in honey. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Mm. You just smell that creaminess already. This one I didn't put too much honey yet, and we kind of want to taste the yogurt by itself a little bit more. Mm. Oh. That sheep milk really comes out. It's got that kind of tangy, slightly sour, but yeah, pleasantly sour. You just really taste that earthiness. Like, you know, this is definitely not cow's milk. They do offer cow's milk yogurt, but the sheep milk is the way to go. It's got such a unique umami to it, too. It's just that, oh. You know when you come to Greece, you have all the sheep milk, oat milk cheeses. Now you gotta have the yogurt, too. Wow. Mm. A little, the honey. Mm. Greek honey is just it's delicious. Usually it's made with a lot of different uh, pollinated by different herbs. It's sweet, but it's not cloyingly hurt your throat sweet. Uh, you combine it with that, that tangy, sour, sweet combo. It's really, really good. You got Konstani in your Athens for sure. And um, here, this plate of the yogurt and the honey is 3.2 euro. So for the sake of this video and our budget of 10 euros, we're sticking with this. But for 60 cent euro more, you can get a top with walnuts, which is the way to go. If you want to tweak and maneuver your budget, maneuver your dishes, you can do that too. So a little story here. When Greg and I started dating, he always gets Greek yogurt, fire yogurt, and puts honey in it. And it's so good. Having it here in Greece for the first time, even more delicious. Mmm, wow. Whoa. I, I love the creaminess. It has to be, I mean, Greg was telling you that you can get it with walnuts. For, for me, the simpler, the better. Mmm. To 
our final stop on this 10 euro crawl. We are at the Ios Nicolo station. It's on the one line, the green line here in Athens. And what do you end a full day of eating with? You tell me, Jimmy. Dessert. That's right. So we're going to a place that I tried at another location. So this spot is very famous for one Greek dessert. Jumi's favorite. I'll tell you what it is in a second. But there's several locations here in Athens. It dates back to 1961. I uh, first heard about it, my dad, when he came to Athens last, he asked a taxi driver where to get the best galato burico. He said, this is the spot. So, yes. we're going to get it right now. Alright, so we're here, we're outside of Cosmicon. Cosmicon is very well known for their galato burico. Uh, they, this is their original location here, Ayos Nicolos. They have six locations throughout the city. And a fun fact, I actually brought some Galata Borico back home on my last trip uh, to Athens for Jumi <laughs> six months ago from Cosmicon at a different location. I actually risked almost visiting the flight home for it. But, you know. That's love. That's love. <laughs> That's right. So, very excited to have it here, the original location. Galata Borico is our favorite Greek dessert. So for those who don't know what Galato Burico is, Galato Burico, think baklava, so it has the filo, layers of filo dough, and then there is a bounty custard inside, and there's usually a lot of butter involved, there's honey, uh, sometimes there's cinnamon, sometimes there's also uh, lemon or orange rind in here, but we have to see on this one. We're just gonna have to tell you as we eat it. So there's definitely many styles of it, but always delicious. All right. Look at how creamy that is. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Mmm. <laughs> Honey. Milk. Cream. Oh, it's so good. And Greg will tell you more about it. All right. Let's get into this galato burrito here. So. Even the name, so gala is milk in Greek, and burek, I think burek like flaky pie, and burek like Turkish burek, Bosnian burek, so it's very similar style with all the filo layers. So try to get a bite with all the filo and a little bit of that custard, making a mess. Let's just get in there. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, so very, very creamy, that custard. It's got the milkiness, not too much. Definitely taste the butter. The honey is not too sweet. We love the desserts aren't too sweet. Slight hint of citrus. We've tasted other Galata Burico that are more heavy-handed on the lemon or orange rind, but this one is very well balanced. You can see why they say it's the best Galata Burico in Athens. There's too many to try. I can't say it is or not. It's amazing though. Mm. Mm. That custard really is special on here. Oh, and there's a little piece of the filo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. It tastes that bake. Mm. Mm -hmm. Done? Yeah. So, of course, as this video has been about staying within the 10 euro guideline, let's get down to business on what this one costs. One slice of this Galato Burico just costs 1.7 euro. That brings our total today to 10 euros on the dot. Yeah. We left nothing behind. We left it all on the field today. Very proud of what we did. So we hit up in total five spots. Yes, five dishes. So, you know, we could have gone cheaper. We could have added more stops, but you know, we really wanted to bring you some of the best that Athens has to offer and just show you how affordable food could be in this city at high quality. We, we did uh, covered five different delicious dishes today. We're just gonna show you like in this cheese, cheese, <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Say <"Calato burico." laughs> so we just wanted to show you like some of the best that Athens has to offer. We did five classic Greek dishes today, five great classic spots in the city, and we spent just ten euros on all five. On the dot. That's right. We wasted nothing. We left it all in the field. Very proud of ourselves. And we just have to show, I mean, it's just to show you that you can really get great dishes with your 10 euro. It's 
sounds intimidating because it's 10 year old, but it can go a long way.